Here's a quick look at my recent berry patch mason jar tutorial. I started by covering up this Dollar Tree mason jar sign with a piece of contact paper and then cutting around the edges with my X-Acto knife. Then I used some white chalk paint on the back side and highlighted that with a little mineral chalk paint. I used this free printable from the Cottage Market website and I will leave that link in the comments for you. Once I had all the extra rice paper torn away, I covered my project with some Mod Podge and used a stiff brush to tap that paper down onto my base. Then I used the mini sander to go around the edges to just kind of thin them out and blend them in a little better. Once that was done, I went back around the edges of my paper design with some of that mineral chalk paint. And also I covered this top piece that came on the original sign, then covered it all up with another layer of Mod Podge. While all that was drying, I worked on my bow. I placed layers of one inch strips of fabric into my larger bow dabber here. I used kind of a few neutral colors that I felt went with my design and then topped that with a cute red plaid piece. I repeated those layers again for volume and tied it off with some twine. Finally, it's time to start putting it all together. So I added that top piece back and used a little antique wax for shading as well as around the mason jar piece. Then I added my bow and a little greenery to the top of the lid. Check out my full tutorial for all the small details and I hope this inspired you to get a little crafty.